Hello and welcome back to the channel and in today's video I thought I'd show you a project I've been working on a new design for the hand crank generator what could be a better way to drive a hand crank generator and the thought occurred to me I could use a bowl drill so if you've seen uh, these survival programs where people have to light a fire you know they're out in the wilderness so they use a bowl drill don't they? I'll put a picture in the video now Obviously with a bowl drill they work going forwards and backwards and a dynamo you only want to go one way. So I've had to fabricate a, a means of going only forwards. Just used a freewheel off a push bike. So the forward stroke drives the freewheel and the freewheel maintains the maintains the forward momentum of the dynamo. These are all just push bike components anyway. We've got a this is a bon, bottom bracket of a push bike. And I chopped a, an old road bike up and this is where so originally you'd have well, basically two two pedal arms, that'd be the drive side, and then the non-drive side on this side. So I cooked I'll show you. Basically, I cut two of these in half. Cut a square tape one in half, and also a cotter pin. Uh, the reason being, I only have cotter pin pedal arms left. I've used all my square tape ones up. On all the builds, so it's got a cotter pin on that side for the bowl drill, and a square tape on this side for the drive for the dynamo. I'll get cracking with the rest of the build, and then at the end we'll run it up and uh, see what kind of power it makes. Just gonna tap the just gonna tap the dynamo on. If it works fine I'll make a bracket but it doesn't actually need to move I chain set. Okay guys if I put weld that onto there now and then that can uh, provide a bit of branch for the bowl to work on.
thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed that video of the bow drill jenny and if you did enjoy it please hit that like button and also consider subscribing i'll see you in the next one